Hello. <clears throat> well, uh, Thanksgiving uh, has uh, just passed. It was yesterday. Um, I quite enjoy that holiday. I know a lot of people after Halloween, it's all about Christmas, but um, to me and also my family, we really get together uh, Thanksgiving. It's sort of like our big holiday. Um, it seems, you know, growing up and everything. And um, it's just a fun holiday. And um, uh, granted, it's only here in the United States, so any kind of international viewers I may have, you know, probably does not celebrate uh, Thanksgiving. Um, <clears throat> however, uh, even with that, uh, I, um, I'm pretty sure many have seen various Thanksgiving specials or films. So, um, quite honestly, there's not that many Thanksgiving films. Um, at least none that are really, really popular. There's a lot of Christmas films, there's a lot of Halloween themed films. Well, obviously the biggest Halloween themed film is uh, Halloween and its sequels and remakes. Um, those are horror movies though. The Halloween season seems to be rife for horror and that kind of stuff. So, you know, naturally, uh, such films uh, are made during that season, yet for Thanksgiving, there's not a whole lot. Um, it's weird, as huge as it is here in the United States, there's not many notable Thanksgiving movies. In fact, the only one I can really think of off the top of my head, which I own and I'm talking about here, which there also will be spoilers on the off chance you have never seen this movie. But the only other notable thing I can think of is the Charlie Brown Christmas, or not Christmas, but the Thanksgiving special. That's the only other thing I think uh, people outside of the United States would probably know. Um, yeah, I'm not thinking, I can't, I can't get it any other you know, anything off the top of my head um, that international audiences would really know. Um, because I think Peanuts is known worldwide. Or perhaps that's just my ignorant assumption. Um, it's just very popular, it seems. And, um, you know, Garfield is also popular in another comic. I think he, there was a Garfield Thanksgiving special once, but anyway, we're not talking about that here today, but I was just trying to point out how there's not many Thanksgiving films. And, um... But the one that always seems to be a huge deal here, the one that always gets featured, and it's shown on TV, and many people watch it for this time of year, is the 1987 classic Planes, Trains, and Automobiles starring Steve Martin and John Candy. Written, directed, and produced by John Hughes. And, um, yeah, here's this. Yeah, not the same thing. But, yeah, uh, it's just a hilarious film. It's very 80s too, so if you're if you're somebody who loves the 80s, um, like films about the or that are in the 80s and that kind of thing, I think you'll pretty uh, pretty much enjoy this. Um, but it's just hilarious, and um, quite honestly, I think this probably would have gotten a PG or a PG-13 rating, but it's rated R, and it's all because of one scene um, in which the f bomb is just let loose. And very understandably so, because, you know, Steve Martin's character in this, well, he's, uh, as the back of this box says, he's an uptight advertising executive, which, you know, it's 
it's very true when you watch the film. He is pretty uptight, and um, he's, tr he's in New York and he's trying to get home to Chicago in time for Thanksgiving. John Candy's character is a shower curtain salesman, and they meet uh, in New York when they're well. At first, uh, uh, Steve Martin gets a cab. He's paying somebody to give him a, his cab. But as this is going on, John Danny shows up and then puts his stuff in the taxi and then gets in and the taxi goes off. And Steve Martin finally gets to the airport and he sits down at the terminal. Uh, and right across from him is uh, <clears throat> John Candy, his character. Um, and uh, throughout the film, uh, as the title uh talks about, you know, they, uh, they go through various means of transportation to get to Chicago because the flight is delayed or first off, and then they, uh, finally are able to get on the plane, and they, uh, have to fly elsewhere because of a snowstorm going on, how horrible the st storm is can't land in Chicago. And so, you know, then comes this whole thing of trying to, you know, get there by car and then staying in, like, hotels and uh, various means of transportation. Like, they, uh, if they can't get anywhere, like, yeah, they don't have a car, well, they try to get a ride here and there. Either get on a bus, or trains, and it's just it's it's a quite a wacky film, honestly, and um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I will actually talk a lot about spoilers because I feel this movie has been seen a whole lot. But uh, if you haven't seen it, uh, I recommend it. You should see it, especially this time of year in November. Uh, it's very, you know, it's just a very well-made uh, film well acted, well written, uh, it, everything about it is really good. Um, it's hilarious, it's funny, and it's pretty warm. You know, there's, uh, at the very end, you know, it's a little sad. However, it is, uh, it does end on a happy note. Um, you know. So I guess to anybody who happens to have not seen this movie, I'd say watch it. Um, so, yeah. There you go. Just another reason why I don't... Um, I don't like to give spoilers a whole lot away, even though this is probably a beloved film, so I, it probably wouldn't matter a whole lot, but... Yeah. That'll just give one. Uh, throughout the whole... Throughout the film, uh, John Candy's character talks a lot about his wife. And throughout the film various comments are made about his wife and how, you know, as a, he's a sales, he's a shower curtain salesman and he's on the road a lot. He goes and is able to sell a lot of shower curtains. He even does so in order to, you know, pass his mouth as jewelry in order to buy <clears throat> uh, uh, or get money so they can have food, have, uh, some transportation of some means of transportation and all that and um yeah um so throughout the film various comments are made regarding his wife and at the end steve martin comes to the conclusion that he's not doesn't have a wife anymore um, it's revealed he's she has been gone for quite some time she's passed away and um he just doesn't really have a home anymore you know i guess when she passed away that was really it he didn't have much uh i guess a lot of ties i guess any other family he has lives pretty far away with his job you know uh going places to places 
perhaps around the holiday season, you might not be able to spend time with any family uh, throughout the country, um, you know, depending on where he is at the time. Uh, so there you go, there's a major spoiler, but again, most people have probably seen this film. Um, so I guess... But for anybody who hasn't, I mean, it's very good. So even with that in mind, uh, still, it's, it's still, even though I've seen this, I've seen this ever since I was a kid. And even as a kid, you know, it's, it said rated R, but throughout the film, up until that one point, when Steve Martin drops the F-bomb, total of 18 times, and then the woman he's talking to, complaining about a car, he, you know, car company, like, given key into a car that wasn't there and um, he's just uh, had enough because of everything that's happened yeah but at that point I'm like why is this rated R there's nothing too vulgar or anything of the sort or violent but you know as a kid once I saw that part and heard all that I'm like oh that's why it's rated R but yeah, anyway, uh, it's a great film. Uh, it'd be great to watch this time of year. Uh, so if you have it, you own it. Do you watch it every year? Or uh, do you just watch it whenever? Is it one of those films that you love so much? Is it one of your favorite films that you watch quite a bit? Or, or what? Uh, I don't know really ever comments that if you, know, you watch these, these videos if anything there's like a view count and there's a like and dislike happening here and there so uh, anyway uh, that's really it that's all I about uh, planes trains and automobiles um, it's a great film it's a classic film and uh, if you've never seen it give it a watch even with that spoiler <laughs> but still even when it happens I feel it's uh, it's very sad and also there are little hints beforehand that uh, kind of hint towards that but nothing explicitly said until the very end so throughout the film you'll catch little hints said here and there while he's talking about his wife and this and that It's, uh, so, it's not like a huge major bombshell dropped. It's, it's something that you pick up on throughout the film. So, there you go. That's what I uh, have to say. So, uh, give it a watch around this time of year. I think you'll enjoy it. If you enjoy comedy, you know, enjoy Steve Martin, you enjoy you know, John Candy, you like any of the various films and stuff they've done. If you like the films of John Hughes, particularly of the 80s, that's, that seems to be his big heyday, is the 80s. Um, though Home Alone also came out, though that was in the 90s, came out after this. Um, another beloved holiday classic. By many, me included. Um, so yeah, if you haven't seen it, give it a watch. If you have seen it, I, like I said, just won't watch it again if you haven't already. It's a good film. It's only 92 minutes, hour and a half. So you know, it's not not too long. It's uh, an enjoyable film, and uh, yeah. That's all I have to say. So, uh, till next time. See ya. Hope you all have a good day. Have a good weekend. Hope you've had a happy four day weekend if you're here in the States and, uh, you know, celebrating Thanksgiving. Yeah. Doing Black Friday. Be safe out there, and um, hope you don't uh, 
spend more than you have. Uh, people have done that at times. So, um, yeah. Take care. I'll see you all later. Bye.